Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. We are playing around today with some totally adorable, cutesy, wootsy nail foils, and we're going to be using these closed bezels. You would have seen a couple of videos back, I ordered a massive bag of closed bezels that came with their own kind of glass cabochons. I now have a dedicated bezel page in my Amazon storefront, so anything bezel related, you'll find it down below in the description box. As for the nail foils, this, I am telling you now, was a rabbit hole that I jumped headfirst down. Around about six months ago, you would have seen on my channel, I started playing with nail foils and I fell in love. These are just a few of them, like the florals and the patterns and all of this. But in today's video, we are using these totally adorable strawberries. I don't know, there's something about the strawberries. It kind of reminds me of the Valentine's strawberries and champagne. Now, these ones here are individual little stickers that you can take off either with a craft blade or your Cricut, you know, your Cricut tool or any tool that's going to get them off will work for you. I am using UV resin, but you don't need UV resin for this project. You can, of course, just use your gel nail polish. It will have the same effect. If you've got any clear gel nail polish laying around, you'll be able to do this as well. So the ones we're using today are the strawberries. I just, like I said, they kind of scream Valentine's to me and they scream cute and adorable. I'm going to try a couple of different techniques as well. The first technique here, it's simple. It's putting your UV resin or your gel nail polish down on to the bed of the nail foils and then we're placing our glass cabochon down over the top of this and we're just giving it a little bit of a tap to make sure that that UV resin or polish has gone right to the edges and then we're whacking it under our UV light for five minutes. Whilst that is curing we're going to get some other bezels ready. Now I am actually painting some of my bezels to give me that background that I want as I don't really want the silver or the gold background to be shown through my cabochons so I'm just using some plain acrylic paint. This is the PBO brand. It is a really good quality acrylic paint as far as I can tell. I'm not an acrylic artist so I actually don't really know but it seems to do the job real well in hiding the back of these closed bezels and taking away that pattern that's on them. Once we are done on here we peel back our glass cabochon and we can reveal our pattern. Now there is a little bit of cleanup involved in this project. So if you're not afraid of a little bit of cleanup, then this is definitely one for you. You can see here some of those nail foils have of course got out because the UV resin kind of fell out of the border, which of course it would because we're just simply sticking it down on top of it. Just use your scissors to trim off around the edges. The one thing I did need to do with these was give them a bit of a sand. Now I am using 1500 to 2000 grit sandpaper, either or, you don't need to do both. And then I'm just kind of testing it out with a closed bezel to see, does it fit yet? <laughs> does it fit yet? Have I got rid of all of that excess resin that was pushed out around the edges? And I just keep sanding all around the edges until it fits nicely into a bezel. And you will know, once it fits, you will just know. It sits in there real nice and it doesn't just flop out and it's not wonky. So just carry on with all of your edges. It really didn't take me very long at all. I want to say around about two to three minutes of sanding the cabochons to make sure that that UV resin had pretty much gone. Now you can see here, there's not much coming off on the sandpaper. That's when you know it's done. But if I turn my cabochon around like five degrees, I can feel a bit of resin. So I'm testing it against the sandpaper and already you'll see the difference. You can see that there is still resin on that bit, but on the other bits where there's no more resin, it just simply won't show up on your sandpaper. So you know you're good. For this one, I really wanted like a different pink background. So I mixed a red and a pink together to get a dark pink didn't have the proper pink in paint you know so I had to mix my own then you just want to paint your closed bezel you do need to make sure that these are fully dried before you place down your glass cabochons so once I've painted that I just set it to one side to allow it to dry Earlier on in the video, you would have seen me paint one of the closed bezels with the white paint. This is now fully dry and it is time to stick down my strawberries. Individually stick down my strawberries. Now again, this is more of the clustered look. So the one where you put the cabochon down onto the entire sheet, you're not gonna get as much of a condensed pattern, but if you individually peel them off and stick them in, then you are gonna get a much more packed 
in a bundle of strawberries that's just gonna look so so yummy these are super fragile so do be careful you can see i ripped one there if you do rip it just take it straight back out and get a fresh one and put it back in again i'm using my cricut weeding tool i found this tool to be the best but of course you could use your craft blade or any sharp blade you have and the best way to get them off of the sheet is to simply hold the sheet in one hand give it a little bit of a bend and then use your blade to get in and under and that's going to avoid as much tear out or ripping them as possible and then just stick them down wherever it is you want now the reason i'm so excited about this one is because a i think it's totally cute and adorable but b the nail foil choices out here in the wide wide world are immense they are infinite and you can just imagine whatever your theme is you could do this all through the year mother's day father's day halloween oh halloween um yeah the choices are multiple so really take from this what you will you could go directly in with the strawberries don't forget hashtag claire made me do it but whatever really gets your heart singing is really the avenue you want to be going down and finding the nail foil that suits your project and what you want to do so as you can see here i just have a play i want kind of equal spacings between my strawberries i don't want them overlapping in any way and i simply put them down until i am happy and then it's time to put the glass cabochon down now this method is definitely quicker than the other method because i don't need to sand anything the glass cabochon is going to fit perfectly and i just give it a few little taps to make sure that that uv resin has made its way all the way to the edges of course if you are using gel nail polish you could probably get a much easier finish you simply use your gel brush to brush the entire surface of that closed bezel over the strawberries and place down your cabochon i am sorry if you can hear george barking because somebody's at the door and they're not allowed to do that now you can see here i'm still using my little ball of clay someone suggested using blue tack of course you can do that you can do whatever works best for you we are now moving on to the pink because the pink has dried and it is time to place down the one that i placed directly down onto the sheet of nail foils and oh my goodness me the pink and the red i've said it before in a recent video pink and red together just scream valentines and strawberries and all of that yumminess again under the uv light five minutes and the job is a good one this is what they're looking like side by side two completely different methods with a different result one's packed out one's a little bit more simple now when we look at the original nail foils it doesn't work so well with this because it's back to front so if we were to place our glass cabochon down onto these foils we're going to be picking up the back of the foil and not the intense colors on the front of the foil, which is really what we want. And most of these foils are white on the back. So there's really not much point in doing it. However, I did try to find a foil that would work both ways. And I feel like this one would because it's got some metallic detail in there as well. So I decided to give it a go. I had a play with this one. I did have a play. I actually used my one inch hole punch to punch out a section and see if that would work, which of course it would. But then you've still got all of the sanding. And I think whatever way around you do this, you're still going to need to sand the edges because that UV resin, of course, it's going to go out and around and it's not going to be where you want it to be. So simply again use like a pea-sized dot of your uv resin or you could which would be so much easier than any of this use your gel nail polish paint the back of your glass cabochon and simply stick it down onto that nail foil that is going to give you the neatest edge and it was going to probably reduce the amount of sanding as well you probably wouldn't even need to sand but this is past you know this is present claire this was past claire so i didn't think at the time but it still works it still works this is what it looks like when we peel it off it is a muted shade we're not getting those gorgeous flowery colors coming through because again this is the back of the foil but a little bit of a sand and just testing it in a fresh bezel to see if it fits there are some chunky bits on this one so you can of course use your craft blade to simply chisel them off before going back to the sandpaper to get all that fine detail off and i'm just testing it against a clean closed bezel 
And like I said, you'll know when it works because it starts to spin like this. You know that it's fully in there. And that's when you just stop sanding. You don't need to sand anymore. We know it's going to fit. My red paint has fully dried. I feel like this is going to be the best background color for it. So I'm placing my bezel down again on my air dry clay. Again, you could use your blue tack or someone else suggested as well, you could rest it on the edge of your desk or on the edge of a tile. That was great advice as well, but you need to do whatever's gonna work best for you. I just don't have any blue tack at this point. I'm kind of, I actually might have, but it might be buried somewhere, but hey. Anyway, this was giving me immediate cherry blossom vibes. Not exactly what I was going for at all. I was really going down the strawberry route, but how pretty is this we're not getting the detail from the flowers but we are getting that metallic detail coming through from behind and oh my goodness me this is so fun guys because the actual choice is crazy it is limitless the amount of nail foils that are out there i do have a whole section on nail foils of course in my amazon storefront but feel free to like search the interweb and find your actual dream nail foil and imagine what you could create with this technique. I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. Let me know what technique you preferred, whether you prefer that kind of cluttered, clustered look, or whether you like it nice and simple with just one or two designs. But I have enjoyed this so much. I hope you have too, and I will see you all in the next video.